And so I'm just going to walk through the Blackboard shell really quickly. Um, pardon? It should if the others do. But it, it's not going to, eh, it's going to matter a bit. I don't know. Um, so for now, just launch Chrome or whatever browser's there and open the Blackboard shell. Um, and there's really, you won't be reading this very often, but you can go there. There's announcements and there's a read this first post. So you want to click on that read this first. And um, so you can read that later. Okay. And then if you go back to the links in Blackboard, and um, Hannah's going to catch up. She'll get there. And Michelle's coming, and um, Pete, I didn't really catch your name coming in. Connor. Connor, okay. I tried Pete, you know, I was just guessing. I thought, wow, he's going to be really impressive. It's Pete. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> um, Connor, okay. Um, I think you got a bad machine there, Hannah. It'll eventually show up, but. Yeah. You might. Um, Rochelle, you're not knowing you're sitting at ID? Yeah. Um, so while so on the left, there's a set of black uh, a set of blackboard menu there, um, and there's links that say announcements. I won't use that too much. And then there's a link that says Tiddly Wiki, and you can click on that, and it should open it in another window. And yeah, so this is, you're going to be much happier if you bring your own devices, especially in our next, does anybody have trouble bringing a laptop to class? Do you, uh, okay. Do you have a laptop that you can bring? Anybody else? Okay. Pardon? But you've got one now that works? Okay, because I was going to switch the class out of a lab into a different room that's not really a lab. But, um, okay, Connor, no laptop in the next two weeks, right? On the horizon? Not happening? You have a desktop? Uh, no, I'm going to have a house. Like a... Pardon? Yeah, my house. Okay. Um, yeah, this is a pretty – are you new to SUNY Poly too? No, I tried last year. Okay, CID major? Okay. Um, so, Blackboard, Hannah's coming. I'm just waiting for her. She's coming. And so, you can look at the other screens while we're, you're waiting for us. What you guys are looking at now is what's called a tiddly wiki. Okay. This is going to be your space in your life in this class. Um, this is my tiddly wiki and you're going to have your own pretty soon. Um, the white box, the little square sort of around the hello there, you all see that? And then there's a little bit of gray space underneath it. That white box is called a tiddler. Um, it's an object. Um, you're used to dealing with objects called web pages all the time. Something.html is an object. It's a bunch of code and some content. In the tiddlywiki world, the object model is based on what's called a tiddler. So we're going to operate in tiddlers. Okay. This tiddler has a, um, a little set of commands in the upper right-hand corner of it. They're all graphically based. But if you linger your mouse over them, the first one, if you linger your mouse over there, there's a little tooltip that says more actions. And if you click that, you'll be able to do more actions. But don't click it. Um, Blackboard, go to this course. And see where it says read this first, read that later. And see where it says tiddlywiki, click on tiddlywiki. 
and you're, you're right with us. You might want to make it full screen just so it's massively large. And that little white box around the top thing that says hello there is called a tiddler. Okay. Um, and linger your mouse over the bullseye target, and it says close other tiddlers. Click on that, and notice the other tiddlers disappear. That's cool. The X, um, don't click on that. That will close this tiddler. The next one says fold the bodies of other open tiddlers. Well, there are no other open tiddlers, so there's nothing to do there. And the last one says fold the body of this tiddler and go ahead and fold it up by clicking on it and you're left with the text of just hello there. Okay, hello there is the title of this tiddler. Unfold it and you see the body of the tiddler. Okay, and this is not to be remembered, but just to start hearing some language that will become familiar to you over time. Um, in the content of the tiddler itself, it says, welcome to design, right? It's written kind of strangely, and you'll see why soon. And then the title of the course, designing and writing interactive texts. Um, and then it says, this is a tiddly wiki. The word tiddly wiki is in blue. And then there's navigation links with a little plus sign. Um, there are so many things to click on and so many different ways and so many different ways to engage with this text. But right now, I'll click on navigation hints and you'll reveal some more text. Click on it again and you'll hide it, but click on it again and you get some navigation hints <coughs> and use that blue bar in the upper right hand corner to begin again. And I don't know if you get the point, but click on that little home button up in the, the, the uh, menu bar and it will begin again. So click on that home button and that's where you started. So when you get lost in hypertext, just click home and it starts at the beginning. Okay. To the extent that there's a beginning, this is what the author said, start here. Okay. Um, the next button in that menu bar, um, actually, what do you think that does? If you open navigation hints, it will tell you it closes all the tiddlers. You go ahead and close all and don't be afraid when that happens because you've got nothing left. So you can begin again with home or click the next button in the toolbar, which will expose a menu. And you'll spend a lot of time when writing and rereading, opening and closing that menu. Um, does it say C-R-E-A-T in the little search box? Okay, that's because there's a weirdness in TiddlyWiki, and I have to clear my search box before I save it. So unfortunately, I don't do that all the time, so you can't tell. If you click that X to the right of the search box, it'll clear it. And then you get these menus that say more and contents and click on contents. And that's the contents of this tiddly wiki as I've defined it. Okay. Um, those little down arrows, you can play with them and they open and close and expose more levels. Um, all sorts of things going on in here. Okay. Click on home and it resets it. It's got the menu open. If you don't want to see the menu, you can close it, but it's really up to you. Um, back in the hello there, Tiddler, if you click on the, if you follow the end of the navigation hints, you'll see navigate using internal links and you can click on that. It says it takes you to another Tiddler. That's an internal link and you can close that Tiddler. And then you can, um, click on external links. Takes you, it started as underline. It takes you outside. Oh, that took you to tiddlywiki.com. Yet another tiddlywiki. Okay. <coughs> um, close the hello there, tiddler, and you're back to the course tiddler that says design right, what we're doing, and who we are. Um, what I'm going to do here is describe the steps that you need to take and then encourage you to take those steps on your own. We, we, um, I'm going to talk for like four more minutes, five more minutes, um, and then we'll have about 10 minutes left to go over it again. <clears throat> but some of the stuff you need to do, you're going to be much happier if you do it on your own computers. Um, Connor, we're going to figure out a way for you to, do you, do you have a thumb drive? Okay. So we might have you work on a thumb drive or something to carry your stuff back and forth. So I'll have to, I'll work on that. Um, so Design Right, a learning community, um, talks a little bit about what we're doing. And all those words in blue are links. And you can read them later at your leisure. So fostering takes you to the Design Right activities. Um, 
and participatory collaborative takes you design rights spaces, et cetera. So those are kind of give you a feeling for this class. Talks a little bit scrolling down who we are. There's me, there's Jeremy, there's you. You're the students registered in SUNY Polycom 375, spring 216. And there's the members of the open section. <coughs> you, can, you don't have to, but you can close that to if it's annoying you. Um, and then you should end up with what's next, Monday, 19 January to Saturday, 23 January. Um, so this is what you need to do next by next Monday, okay? There's two videos to watch. One's called Design Right, and um, if you click on it, it takes you, it's, I'm not, is it rendering for you? Yeah, so one person got it, everyone doesn't. Click Design Right video. Um, but we're, we're back on um, what's next, Monday, 19 January, right? And that says watch these two videos. Everybody with me there? Uh-oh. And so there should always be a link to it live on YouTube, so you can get to it directly by clicking on YouTube. And good morning, Jeremy. And that's a video that I recorded last week with Jeremy talking about what hypertext is. So you should watch that. Watch that other video, The Machine is Using Us. Anyone ever seen that? Anyone ever seen? Okay, that's, that's about what digital text is. It's only five minutes, so it's easy to watch. Um, click those three read things, activities, spaces, and then the intro readings. Um, the intro readings are the readings I provide are, you're going to continuously want to go back to them. So just kind of peruse them. Don't worry about, there's no test. So learn them, understand the concepts, and then I want you to begin thinking about how to apply those concepts as we move forward. So um, don't get bogged down by, oh, there's too much reading. Just do your best, absorb as much as you can, go through it once. If you, you know, if it's productive for you, go through it again, but don't, uh, mo most of your time, especially in the first couple of weeks is to be spent mastering some of the software. And then there's the gather tools and that's really critical. Um, <clears throat> so tools, the first thing I really want you to do from your own computer is sign up for Dropbox. Um, it's free up to two gigabytes. And if you click on toolkit Dropbox, it tells you how to do it. You create an account. Um, by clicking on that link, you'll add some storage to MySpace, which is good for me and good for you in the long run. Um, I'd suggest you download the Dropbox app. There's directions at dropbox.com and create a design right Dropbox folder. Okay. And name it design right 216 with your name, no spaces, you know, whatever you're going to use as your sort of, you can use your sitting at ID or you can just say Rochelle and Connor and Hannah and. Meg, sorry, I'll get there. Um, close toolkit Dropbox. If you don't have Firefox on your machine at home, wherever you're going to do your work for this class, get it. And then make sure you have the latest version and then install the Tiddly Wiki extension. Um, restart Firefox and you're good to go. <clears throat> and then toolkit Tiddly Wiki, you download, click on that. Did I lose you, Hannah? Yeah, we're on Gather Tools, and then we're on Toolkit TiddlyWiki. You download the empty, make sure you save it to your Dropbox folder, rename it, um, make sure it saves, and then step nine, I know this is the most number of steps you'll ever see, share it, there's directions there, um, and and then check to see it's listed in Design Right Tiddly Wiki. Okay, so you'll see that there's a, there's a bunch of people who have started to share their stuff there, and this will come. It's a little weird now, but it will come. Um, and I'm gonna show you in a few minutes, there's a Google group, ask questions in there. It's a community. We help each other, and that's the point of having the Google group, okay? The Tiddly Wiki is the most important thing. You got to get it right because otherwise I won't be able to see your work. Um, and so between now and Monday, our whole focus is on getting that set up and then doing the um, um, Zoom and Google apps. You don't 
have to worry so much about right now. Okay. Um, and then after you gather your tools, you're back on what's next. So you can close some tiddlers and get back to the what's next. There's a do section and you have to do the initial exercises. Okay. Learn a little bit about tiddly wiki, which is mostly clicking around and reading, creating about me tiddler, which assumes you have a tiddly wiki, tells you how to create a tiddler, how to save it and share it, and then create tags. So these are exercises. Again, you're, you've signed up for a hybrid class and we meet one hour a week instead of four hours a week. So three of the four hours of instruction um, are online. So um, we're giving, I'm giving you some guidance here and to get you started. But if you complete those exercises between now and next Monday, you'll be ready for more on next Wednesday. Okay. Um, if you close getting started with TiddlyWiki and close and go back to the read spaces, go back to what to do for next week and under read, there's a link to spaces. So what that describes is this, your class or what I call the learning community. Okay. We have a bunch of spaces. You've been to the blackboard space, not much there, but that's still where you're going to submit your work. I'll be showing you that in a couple of weeks where you, and you'll get your grades. Those are not public. The rest of the spaces are public. The Blackboard discussion forum, you are all members of. If you're not, let me know. Um, so if you click design right discussion forum, you might have to log into your SITnet ID for Google. Make sure you're using your SUNY IT Google account. And it should, you should be a member of it and it shouldn't be asking you to apply to join the group. If it is, look in the upper right-hand corner and see what Google account you're using. Not in the TiddlyWiki, in the Google page. And if you're not using your SitNet ID, go ahead and sign into your Google account, and you should be a member of the group. And you're, you'll see that there are 10 people who've written in the introductions thread already. And you can add to that. Okay. Um, if you go back to your Tiddly Wiki, go back to Design Right Spaces. We've done the discussion forum. The Google Drive should be sh um, open to the public. I'll be putting stuff there from time to time. Don't have to worry so much about that right now. Um, the Tiddly Wiki we've just been playing with. Design Right Video is the YouTube channel. Um, where all of the videos for the class will be posted. Um, there will also be links in the TiddlyWiki. Um, so mostly everything will happen in TiddlyWiki that I share with you. <laughs> everything that you do, you're going to write in your own TiddlyWiki and share it back with me. Um, and that's the sort of spatial, space-based approach to the class. And the one more thing I wanted to share with you um, was the activities and it looks like I don't have any tiddler, but you can use that search box and search for activities, get to design right activities. Um, and so what we're going to do is I'm going to have a bunch of conversations um, that will turn into videos that you can watch and you can participate in creating the conversations. If you choose, we're going to have discussions in the Google group. There's exercises that you're going to do and we're going to collaboratively read and critique and comment on. There's readings that I'm going to assign and there's workshops. I consider the class a workshop. So what we're doing now is sort of a workshop. Um, there's one at nine o'clock on Wednesdays, one at 11 o'clock on Wednesdays, and there's an online one at 7 PM on Mondays. So you're all invited to join and come and attend to any of those that suits you. Um, the, this time is set aside for your class and so sort of my primary you know that's the time that you can guarantee to be there um, absolutely yeah and i'd encourage you to come and basically what i'm going to do from 9 to 12 we're going to meet in really cool classroom in a 131 oh my god you change it instantly holy cow we're meeting in A131, which is a brand new classroom. It's and it's, nice. have you been? Oh, it's a nice room, isn't it? Yeah. It's white, <laughs> bright. And it's all sort of, it's got these massive screens and a video camera. So somehow, I'm gonna, and from 9 to 10, I'm going to do the workshop. 10 to 11, we're going to pipe in Jeremy. 
and other friends from around the world who are going to come and maybe they'll come earlier, maybe they'll stay later. So basically I'm going to run it from nine to 12 as a continuous session, but I'll stop every hour because I know students have different classes and it's sort of set up that way. So this is the last time we'll be in this room. Um, those are the workshops. So there's a lot going on. It's different than any other class I've ever taught and probably any other class that you've ever taken. Um, and I didn't get to talk much about like the substance today about what hypertext is and what TiddlyWiki is. Um, I have five more minutes, so I will kind of give you a really brief tour of why TiddlyWiki is cool. Okay, so click on the home button and start again. And when you create a TiddlyWiki, yours is going to look different than mine. Okay, because I'm I've mod you know I've modified mine you can modify yours colors menu bars etc you know so I've got things set up the way that I think you should like them. you can change your own the way that you like it or you think I should like it okay but the first thing under hello there is the more actions so click that and those are all the more actions that you can do in this particular tiddler we can get information about it we can make a new tiddler from here which you'll play with when you do creating tagged tiddlers. We can just do a new journal here, which is something yet again. We can clone this tiddler, which we're going to play with in the future, or we can edit it and export it. But let's edit it. Okay. So when you edit the tiddler, hello there is, is the title. And now you see that the different components of a tiddler, there's the title called hello there, and there's the tags in the middle there. And then to the left below that, there's some code. And to the, click on edit, Hannah, do the more actions, a little down arrow in the tiddler, hello there. There it is, do more actions, edit, okay? And so, um, and you might find it helpful to close your menu so that you have more screen, which Rochelle, that would be you. Um, and Hannah too, close your menu so you've got more, more screen space to work with. Um, I'll do the same. Um, so what's weird is you're seeing what's called a WYSIWYG. What you see is what you get, editor. On your right, where it's got the color red, design right, that's what it looks like. On your left is what the code is. So click into the thing on the left after the last set of double braces or actually you know, anywhere at the very end and hit a couple returns and type your name or whatever else you want it to, you know, put some, put some text there. And you should see it showing up on the right. Is it? Okay. That's different than other stuff you've used as well. That's kind of cool. That's not really a hypertext thing. That's a tiddlywinky thing. Um, that it, does this weird little what you see is what you get. Now notice up where it says welcome to design right and the code section, there's two exclamation points. Um, up, go up there and delete those two exclamation points and see what happens. So what happened? Pardon? It made it smaller. In technical terms, what it did is it changed it from a hypertextual element called normal text or to that from what used to be called heading two. So put an exclamation point back and it makes it huge. That's called heading one. Put two exclamation points. It's a little smaller. That's heading two. Three is heading three. Four is heading four. And it keeps going. Okay. Um, the meaning, I'm sorry. Yeah, the meaning, the way that those exclamation points are interpreted is set somewhere deep in this Tiddly Wiki and you can change it if you want, but you don't have to, okay? What you're doing with those, that little punctuation is you're writing code. You're changing the way that things look. You're designing interactive texts. Um, look where it says this is Tiddly Wiki and on the right you can actually click on that and that takes you to the Tiddler called Tiddly Wiki, right? So close the Tiddly Wiki and look at the code and all I've done, not all I've done and I, always try to avoid saying, it's really simple, just do this, because that's rude. But if I say it, I apologize. What I did there was I enclosed the name of a tiddler inside double square brackets. Makes the link. That's pretty cool. 
Um, and then the way I got that navigation thing, navigation hints to work with a little pop-up, I enclosed the name of a tiddler, navigation hints, inside double braces and followed the name of the tiddler with those two vertical bars and then the word slider. So again, this is not stuff to learn, it's stuff to know that can be done and then do it as you need it, okay? So introducing, so, you know, that little thing of navigation hints, my idea here is as you're writing, as writers in the 21st century, you are called upon to write hypertextually. Your readers expect to navigate your texts like the way that you guys approach books. Sometimes you want to go backwards, forward. Sometimes you want to read the last page first. Sometimes you want to see more information, sometimes less. The web is full of hypertext. This is a way to write this code very quickly and easily with a little bit of markup and spend your time thinking about what it means to write with the anticipation of links at the time that you're writing. Okay. Um, the weird thing that you're doing, you guys are editing a text. You can't save it. It's my text. You can save it locally and keep a version of it if you want, but you can't write back to my server. Yet what you're using is a single HTML file. It's called single page application, and it's really kind of strange. Um, and we will talk about that as we move a little bit forward. So what I did today in the last 40 minutes was throw lots of stuff at you, give you a really quick tour, um, and said, and now I'm going to say, okay, go off and do it and have fun. And if you have any questions, ask in the group. The other thing I'm going to do is hopefully I recorded this whole conversation um, and recorded my screen. And I'm going to post that to the YouTube channel. And I'm going to post it in the Tiddly Wiki so that you and others can watch it in case some of the words that we just talked about you want to hear again. Okay. Um, or you can't remember exactly what we did. Pretty much all the stuff that we just did, I did on my screen as I was talking. Um, 